Hey friends, Misty with Gleesman Designs. Today I have this adorable Dollar Tree gnome with the legs and the little boots. Also, we have an announcement at the end of the video. You definitely don't want to miss that, so please stick around. So I seen these adorable little boots at Dollar Tree. They are an ornament and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I went and got one of the, I think this is the microfiber cloth. Um, and let me know in the comments if I am wrong. Thank you so much, you guys. I cut that in half and then just started to roll it um, using my hot glue gun. And you definitely probably want to use the Dollar Tree little finger covers. You can see here, I definitely decided to do that after I burnt my finger, but just kind of like roll those like a burrito and you have two little legs. For our gnome's body, you could use the bag of rice or beans from Dollar Tree, whatever you would like. I took a Dollar Tree sock and I just placed it right over the bag of rice and hot glued that shut and you have your gnome's body and it will sit up on its own because you are using the bag of rice or beans. For our gnome's beard, we will be using the Dollar Tree mop and you can leave them just how they are, but I like to kind of pull them apart and fray them a little bit. It kind of makes the beard look a little bit more natural and a lot more fuller. Taking your glue gun, just go ahead and add sections. I usually start from one side and that go to the front and then to the other side, adding little sections of the Dollar Tree mop head. You can make your gnome's beard as full as you would like, but I would not recommend going all the way around to the back because it will kind of make it to where it cannot sit upright. Now, once you have the beard all the way on, split it down the center and add a few strands of the mop head so that where that little red triangle is, we will end up adding his nose. When I did my last Dollar Tree gnome, I used a Dollar Tree scarf, but for this one, we will be using a Dollar Tree like Santa hat chair cover and you're gonna lay that flat out take your gnome's head place it right inside like you would want his hat and then just mark each side about an inch you don't want it to be too tight around his head you do want to leave it some space then turn the chair cover inside out where you made those little marks for his head you're going to take a ruler and on each side go ahead and basically make the triangle for the hat starting from where you made that dot going all the way up to the pom-pom on the inside of the hat. Once you have that all traced out, go ahead and cut out your gnome's hat. To make the seams for the hat, you're going to fold over one of the pieces of fabric and start hot gluing those two together, working your way from one side going all the way up the hat, and then you will go down the other side as well. Once your hot glue has dried, which only takes a few minutes, go ahead and turn your gnome's hat from inside out and you have a little adorable gnome hat. I wanted to add something to the brim of his hat, so I used this Dollar Tree candy cane looking ribbon and I just hot glued that all the way, wrapping it around the gnome's hat. Using those scrap pieces from the chair cover, I just kind of balled them up and placed them right inside the gnome's hat so that it gave it a little bit more height when I added it to his head. Place the gnome's hat right on his head, pulling it down a little bit and just taking that fabric and pushing it down and you'll see how it kind of gives the gnome's head a little bit more height and the hat a little bit more height. Using a Dollar Tree Christmas ornament, I went ahead and made that his little nose and you will hot glue that in place. You could leave the gnome's beard as long as you would like, but I wanted the legs to be able to show so I gave his beard a haircut. For our gnome's legs, we are just going to add those little boots to the legs that we made and then I folded them and just added a quite nice bit of hot glue. I wanted them to stay for a very long time. Add your little gnome right on top. I added a little piece of a Dollar Tree pick and a little bow using that same candy cane like looking ribbon and here is our adorable little gnome with legs. 
I think he turned out so cute. And I mean, look at them little boots, you guys. I am just absolutely obsessed with him. I could not wait for our announcement. The November winner is Brittany Kaufenberg. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I apparently did not put the G, but Brittany, thank you for your support and you are our winner. As always, please subscribe, you guys, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Thank you.